relative to a fixed origin, the points P, Q and R have position vectors P, Q and R respectively. Given that P, Q and R lie on a straight line, and Q lies one third of the way from P to R, show that Q equals one third R plus 2P. So, let me draw a little diagram so I can picture what's going on here. We've got P, Q and R on a straight line. So here can be my straight line. Here's point P. We're told that Q lies one third of the way. So if I put Q here and then R over there, then I know that this is one third of the whole distance. So this would be two thirds. Now, relative to the fixed origin, O, I'm told that point P has the vector P, point Q has the vector Q, and point R has the vector R. Right, using this information, I can get an expression for the vector from P to R. P to R is going to be the same as P to O, which is minus P, plus O to R, which is Q. So minus P plus R. Now, P to Q, I know that that is one third of P to R. So I can say P to Q is one third of P to R, which I just found in red above. So that's one third of the minus P plus R. Or if I wished, I could expand that out to be minus one third P plus one third R. That's not the only way I could do P to Q. I could also do P to Q by going P to O, which is minus P, plus O to Q, which is Q. This is P to Q, this is P to Q, they should be equal to one another. So I can now say minus one third, uh, actually, let me start with the other one. We're going to do the minus P plus Q, that's the yellow way of writing P to Q, is equal to the green way, which is minus one third P plus one third R. The reason I decided to write it that way around is so I had the Q at the front. I'm now going to add vector P to both sides. So Q equals minus one third P plus P is two thirds P plus the one third R. If I factorize one third out now, that gives me the answer of what I needed to show. So one third of two P plus R which is the same thing as that, just written with the R and the P the other way around.